Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me introduce how to install a battery charger. Uh, you can refer to the menu, uh, page 3. And uh, first, in my hand, you can see this the battery charger. This battery charger here, this is the base. In the bottom, you can see two holes. Okay, these two holes used to the screwdriver to secure this to the, we recommend to install in the center of the brake bowl, like this. Okay, and uh, use these two screws, secure to the uh, collector tray. Make sure it's nothing loose or come out. Okay, and after this, you finish this, and uh, you can use the, uh, you plug in the electrical coil, and the electrical coil, you can uh, route to all the way to the bottom of a collect tray, all the way to the secure, make sure nothing come out loose, and uh, so now nobody will cause trip hazards. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in my hand is a vacuum eraser. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use vacuum eraser. Or also, it can refer to the menu, uh, page 4. Uh, first, uh, vacuum eraser need to have a battery. We need to be charged. Okay. First, we put in this uh, eraser put in the charger. And it take about one or two hours to charge. Of course, when the complete the light will change to green, uh, but you don't need way to the green to, to use. Then you left vacuum eraser. You move the, you turn on the switch, on, the vacuum pump is a pumping, okay, it's a operate. Now we move the yeah, vacuum eraser, left, right, to the gray. Okay, sometimes uh, some situation is uh, we, we don't want to erase complete, we just want to erase one later in the center. Or you can, uh, you can put a erase in a 20 degree angle and make it erase. Like this. Of course, after you uh, uh, erase all, all the chalk powder, stick to the field or eraser. Uh, we need to clean this uh, field first. So what we do is we, uh, we touch the eraser to the red bowl tie and then we move the vertical direction in the three times. One, two, three. Okay, you can see complete clean up. After clean up, then we can erase again. Okay, then we need to charge. Then we turn off switch, we put in the charger. Okay, sometimes uh, one thing is make sure uh, no any charge particle inside. If you have there, you put a charger. The contact is, you cannot contact to charge. So uh, we need to clean our base regularly. After it's, everything is clean, the eraser can complete time and charge. When it, it can start charging, the light will turn to gray and uh, ready to use after turn to green. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to clean up all the chalk, chalk powder inside the collector. Uh, you can refer to the menu, page 5, more detail. Okay, uh, all the chalk powder inside the, in the collector. Uh, we need to clean well, at least one or three, three times a day. It depends on how much you use. And the more often you clean the, the chop powder, it get more better performance. Okay, you can see in the bottom they have orange lock. Okay, you put a press up, press orange lock, and hold it, hold it like this, and then you can pull out this collector. Okay, then you put back this eraser uh, to the his base. Okay, inside you have a filter. This case, these two fingers pull out a filter. Okay, make you take the a case and the filter to the case. Okay, make sure everything, all the chop powder is clean, and then do not use water to wash because this filter will be damaged by the water. Okay, then 
put bad failure to his case. Okay. In this eraser, you can see the two guys here. And then you can follow this, the two guys until the push in, until you hear the correct sound. Okay, let me secure it. Okay, let me you are done. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to replace damage in the uh, erase clothes. Uh, normally, erase clothes they will, can last for a long, long time, but uh, uh, it depends on how often you use and uh, can be uh, can be three months you need to replace. Uh, for example, like uh, you have uh, erase clothes, you see the wear out, complete wear out, or you have a complete tear apart, not become two piece. Now it's time to the to replace. Okay, it's replace is so easy, just take about one minute, or uh, depend how how good you are. Okay, you can see this orange shape here. Okay, you can use uh, your finger. Okay, push down, and then this shape come out another side. Okay, then it's easy to pull out. Okay, then another one, do the same thing. Uh, in case you don't have enough uh, push down by hand, you can use a uh, quarter coin, okay? Then press and come on another side, it's just easy to pull out. Okay. Now this whole uh, erase close uh, structure, you can easily take out. Okay. Now you can see this another same shape here. Do the same thing. I use the, I use coin to push down. Okay, and come on another side. You just pull out easy. Okay, this one this one is not a uh, little shorter. Okay. Okay, then then you can uh, easy take out a roller. This roller here. Okay. After you take out a roller, then this uh, it is close. You can complete remove. Okay, when you remove the, then you get a new one. Okay, it is close. You, uh, you have to buy from the distributor or manufacturer. Okay. Now, now we put back this uh, bill. Uh, this is uh, erase the clothes again in the in the lower side. Okay. Now we need to put back that. Order. Let's just do the follow step procedure, reverse. Okay. Put the lower here. Okay, now pick up the one I told you, the shoulder, shoulder shape. Okay. Now we uh, rotate the shape to the vertical, vertical cut. And then Okay, we against the table, push, then push down, you see, come out, this, this one need to be in vertical direction. Okay, now, you can see this, uh, this belt, and then they have a short arrow side here, and the both side. Okay, both side. This arrow side will match. In the body of the eraser, they have arrows right here. That's right. So that means that you, are, you have to follow this, in this direction. In case you, uh, you didn't follow you follow arrow side, for them I go this way, you cannot fit in, okay, until you go other way. So then can you, okay. Okay, this is done, right? So we need to put this two, two short uh, orange shape back in the, this round hole here, put it in. And then you, you need to rotate it until you show the vertical direction, the, the, the line, the vertical direction, then you push like this. Okay, follow the same procedure. Another one, this is a round shape here, and push in. Then we, Rotate. Push. It's so listed in the vertical direction. I think that's it. Eh? 